hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so um i'm doing a little something different today so i'm taking a ride to a, a, a meeting right now so i'm just going to do this video it's my first time doing this i just hope this thing does not fall off <sighs> okay so in today's video i'm going to be talking about handling offenses in the church okay so now i've been I've gone through, I've been through offenses and I know what it feels like, the feeling of giving up, the feeling of letting go. So I decided to do a video because I know that there are a lot of people that are presently going through this or have gone through it or are presently going through it. So while I was an undergraduate, there was a senior person in the church, I attended a campus fellowship of course, that did something to me and I was not so happy about it and I was going to give up, I was going to leave. But for some reasons, I, I just still had this strength in me to pray and talk to God about it. So I, I prayed, and then the Holy Spirit said to me, "This is this is the best place for you to be. So stay." And so I was able to walk myself through the earth and all of that, and I stayed. And man, it was a very very amazing experience. So, um, how did I how did I go about it? How did I go about it? So, um. So, the, I think the first thing to handling earth is to understand that you that the church is not for perfect people, like perfect in terms of character and all of that. The church is for perfecting people. So you may have high hopes of that. Oh, I'm in church, so everybody should be able to behave themselves. But it's not always the case because it, even though we are Christians, we still have the responsibility to work on our character. To work on ourselves to be exactly what God wants us to be. So if you don't, if you find people not living up to their expectations because they are Christians, you shouldn't get offended because you know Romans 12 verse 2 says that we should renew, we should be renewed in the spirit of our minds. That's to tell us that if you don't renew your minds, if you don't renew your mind, you will go, you're going to be the same person that you've always been, and even worse. So the need for us to keep ourselves abreast with the knowledge of the word and all of that. Okay. Saying, understand so, understand that you have an adversary who seeks to do everything he can to get at you. So he will use offenses, he will use anger and all of those things to try to get you. So, But you have a responsibility to just refuse to be angry, refuse to be an adversary called the devil who will do everything he can to get you to be offended and thereby just he, he will do anything to get at you and offense is one way he does that so you have a responsibility to stop yourself from getting angry Ref, just refuse to be angry just let love lead you know J jesus christ who is our model they did several things to him while he was here while, while, on, in the course of him dying for us and all of that and he he, he still did not curse at them he didn't do he didn't get back at them he didn't repay their evil with evil rather the bible says that while we were yet in as he died for us so you should just follow the master and just let the holy spirit guide you let the holy spirit lead you because really you can't offenses will come offenses will come one reason being that we all came from different backgrounds even though we're all in christ yes we were born again we're in christ but then offenses will come because we are from different backgrounds like everybody came from dif everybody came from different families we all did not come from the same family even children from the same family are never alike so there is the tendency that offenses will come because we hold different opinions and that everybody's m level of maturity spiritual maturity is different so offenses will come but you have a responsibility to stop yourself from getting angry twitter, like a twitter page about a few days ago saying that um, you may not be able to control what people do to you or how they react to you or what they do to you but you are solely responsible for how you react to whatever they do to you so we may not be really be able to tell how people should do to us what they should say to us but it, it the responsibility is on you to tell yourself that no, I cannot always react to how people do. I cannot let what people do get to me always. I just, it, it, it really just still boils down to our individual personalities. The need for us to grow from within and not let everything get at us. Because if we always let everything get at us, then where is the place for um, maturity and all of that? So, 
yeah so you 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 don't you 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 have to stop yourself and not allow yourself get angry it might be very awful i know that there are things that people have gone through that when you hear their story you feel so sorry for them because of the situation but irrespective you still have to stop yourself from getting offended because you know that the person behind it is the devil and it means no good so offenses are not from god they are from the devil you have responsible stop yourself from, from getting offended so thank you so much for watching my youtube video i really did not plan for this video to be very long as long as it is but bear with me and i really do hope that you learned something and i look forward to seeing you again in my next video have an amazing day or enjoy the rest of your day bye